Here's the solution to the week two assignment in Accounting 202 about modern products where I ask you to calculate some depreciation expense, accumulated depreciation, and then the net book value of the asset, also known as the carrying value. I've got the solutions here, but what I want to show you is how I derive the solutions using Excel. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to minimize that window and come on back to a copy of the file but without the solutions in it. Note first of all that I'm using the cost as the basis for which to calculate depreciation, 125000 and not the 130000 that I cite up here as the resale value. That's a market value, that's an appraisal, it's subjective, and we're not going to base our depreciation or indeed anything else on our financial statements on plant assets involving market values. We're going to use cost. Now to calculate the depreciation expense using the straight line method. I'm going to click on the cell here for depreciation expense in the year 2007 and then I'll go up to insert and function and select the, the SLN function, SLN standing for straight line. Click OK and now I get a dialog box that explains to me how to calculate that depreciation expense. First of all I enter the cost for the asset, 125000 I enter the salvage value, 5000 and then I enter the useful life, 5 years. Excel calculates the amount, 24000 for the year, and then I'll click OK, and Excel enters that amount into the cell. There's the formula, and I click Escape to come on back to the solution. My accumulated depreciation for that first year is going to be equal to the depreciation expense, as it is the first year and then net book value is going to be equal to my cost the hundred twenty five thousand minus my accumulated depreciation note I'm using cell references here for my calculations year two my depreciation expense has been is the same in the straight line method so I can just grab the cell and copy it one row down. Accumulated depreciation now is going to be the sum of the beginning balance in that account plus 2008 depreciation expense. Again the formula calculates the amount and my net book value will be my cost the 125,000 minus the accumulated depreciation since that was the formula that I used in the cell for 2007 for net book value, again, I can just copy that down to the next row. For the production method, it's a little more complicated since there is no Excel function for the production method. Instead, I have to use good old-fashioned algebra. So, for my depreciation expense, what I'll do is I'll calculate a formula. I'll use equals and then open parenthesis, include my cost, subtract my salvage value, close my parenthesis, and then divide that by the capacity, the 27,000 hours, to get my depreciation rate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to include all that as a f element in my equation and then multiply that using the asterisk by the actual usage. That should return the depreciation expense for that first year. My accumulated depreciation as above with straight line for the first year is simply that year's depreciation expense and my net book value is the difference between my cost and my accumulated depreciation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that cell, the formula in that cell, move that down to the production method table, 
do control V and it copies that relationship down into that row. 2008 same sort of thing as I did for 2007. Again, I'm going to use two parentheses, my cost, adjustment for my salvage, divide that by my capacity, the 27,000, close parentheses, and then multiply that by my actual usage for that year, the 4,500 hours. Accumulated depreciation and net book value are calculated the same way as they are up above. So again, control C, control V, and I've completed my production method depreciation table. For double declining balance, depreciation expense, here again I can insert an Excel function. So I'll go to insert function and I'll use DDB click OK DDB for double declining balance enter my cost 125 enter my salvage even though salvage value is not considered in double de declining balance depreciation until the end of the useful life enter that useful life in terms of time the five years and then enter my factor, or excuse me, my period. It's the first period, first year of the useful life of this asset, so I enter a 1 in the proper box. There we go. Click OK. And I got my depreciation expense. Again, my accumulated depreciation for the first year is my depreciation expense. And my net book value is the difference between my cost and my accumulated depreciation. For year two, depreciation expense, again, I'll go to insert, function, DDB, click OK, and I get my dialog box. Cost the same, 125, salvage the same, life the same, five years, but now I'm in the second period, the second year for double declining balance depreciation. So I'll enter a 2. I come up with a different result, the 30,000. Click OK. And finally, I'll copy the cells for the accumulated depreciation and the net book value from the methods above. And there I've got it. Excel sure makes these calculations a lot easier than doing them all by hand. Learn to use the formulas, learn to use the copy and paste method, and your work will go a lot more quickly. Thanks a lot, and I hope you found this useful.